hi beautiful people you're welcome to this entertaining channel if you're new here you're most welcome my name is chinyere chichi for short and if you're a returning subscriber thanks for always coming back you are the absolute best in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing us the stitching process of this beautiful hip illusion shawl jacket and if you're interested in knowing how this was achieved then sit right back relax and enjoy i placed the pattern paper on the fabric i'll be using for this jacket and i cut along all i have just as it is on the pattern paper please while we do this please click on the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet please do not just watch it is not helping the channel thank you guys so as i was saying i'm done cutting out the front pattern and this is what it looks like i'm folding over the lapel and you can see that we're already having the shape we actually want for the lapel area so this is what the front looks like let's move over and cut the back so i place the pattern on the fabric and then cut along just like i did to the front i've added all my allowances to the pattern paper so i'm not extending or adding anything to the fabric itself so i just cut exactly what i have on the pattern paper and now i have i have my back part uh, sorry my back fabric cut out and then i proceed to cutting out the interfacing for both the front and the back and after i'm done cutting out the interfacing for the fabric i take that out and then proceed to the fixing of the stay i am using this thick stay it's a paper stay it's not hard it's just thick and this i'm going to be using just for the hip area just for the hip illusion area to give it that firm look and i'll be using this softer stay for the other part of the jacket <laughs> please take note i am doing this i'm putting inserting this you can see just the space i am covering the thick stay with it is just the hip area to give us that firm illusion at the hip area you can see that the hip area is not flap is actually standing and that is what we want to achieve so this other area of the fabric i'm going to be covering it with the softer stay just to give the whole fabric a firm look at the end of the day but for the hip area i used the thicker stay so this is what i'll be doing to all other parts of the jacket that is the two front and the two back i'm going to be putting stay on all four of them this is to give the jacket a firm look and now i am done with the stay at the front and i'm taking that out and this is what the front looks like after i am done fixing the stay on the both of them already it is looking very firm already as i'm touching it is looking very firm i must say that so this is the front and the back pattern of our jacket and next i move to the lining i'm going to be putting stay on just this lapel part of the jacket i'm not going to be putting the stay on all the body just the lapel jacket sorry the lapel side of the jacket is what i'll be covering with the stay and at this point i just iron out the lapel area just for the two sides of the front and guys i'm done with that and we proceed to the stitching of the jacket now so i'm going to be stitching along this part and this part and i do the same to the second part so let's move to the stitching machine and get that done guys i'm done stitching this part of the jacket that's for the front and then i notch along please while you notch please be very careful so that you don't cut along or cut through your stitched line already so i stitch and i notch for the front and back and after notching i turn it inside out and then flat press everything out with the help of a pressing iron so you iron it out flat and then see what exactly it should look like so this is what my jacket is already looking like so this the style is actually coming out already i am getting what i want from the look i'm having at the moment so guys this is what the front part of our jacket looks like so let's proceed and to the back and see what we can come up with so this is the back part and i also go ahead to stitch the piece of fabric main fabric together the lining together and then come over and let's see what next step we should take so guys i'm done stitching the back part and then i take that aside and come move back to the front part of my jacket so i'm going to be holding the neckline area together like this so i open up the neckline area and i stitch along this part and after that is done i iron out and then fold over this way so this is what i have for the front let me turn over and place it properly so that we can see what it's looking like so this is what the front looks like after i've joined the neckline area together so our front 
jacket part is ready so let's proceed to the back and see how we're going to be putting the front and the back together so i move this outside come back to the back so this is the lining and this is the front part of the jacket area so i'm going to be holding uh, sorry placing the neckline over each other this way and this is what i have so i have this three piece together i have the lining i have the front and this is the fab back fabric itself so i hold them together at the midpoint of the neckline area so the middle point you hold everything together making sure that all the points are exactly on each other where they are supposed to be so i'm going to be stitching on this part along like this and this other part too and this is what the stitch neckline area looks like and i notch and guys this is what we have this is the neckline area you can see how neat it is looking both the inside and the outside everything looking all stitched inside out looking very neat and now that we're done with the neckline area so this is what we should have at the, at this point in time this is what we're having so for the shoulder area remember i told you that the back is supposed to fall to the front and this is what i was talking about initially so now that we have this it is left for us to go stitch the side of the jacket and guys i'm done stitching and you can see how both the inside is looking everything looking very neat remember this is a jacket and we can't afford to have the inner part looking all untidy so i iron out every part so this is me ironing out this is the collar area i iron out the collar area as well i'm practically ironing every part of this jacket to give us what we should have so this is what it looks like i have the sleeve to fix at this point in time and this is what the back part looks like you can see how shapey it is looking the hip illusion giving us all the vibes and here we have the sleeve is a trumpet like sleeve with an elastic band at the edge so this is it after the elastic has been fixed so the next thing is just to fix the sleeve to the body of the jacket itself so i'll be placing this and this to this this is what is left for this jacket to be ready and guys we have our perfect jacket looking all pengy can you see how beautiful this has turned out like the combination is just so wowing for me i love the classy elegant look this jacket is giving me guys this looks amazingly beautiful please click on the subscribe button if you haven't done so do not forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know your thoughts in the comment section what do you think about this beautiful jacket please i want to know what you think about it right in the comment section guys thanks for watching see you in my next video bye